So today is day 29 of my Camino. I can't even believe it. I woke up today, uh, it, it was 50 degrees and raining. And uh, we, I put on my poncho that's been in the bottom of my backpack for the first time. And we all look like Hunchback of Notre Dame's with our packs and stuff. But um, what a spectacular day. I hiked 29.1 kilometers and I can tell you every step was a joy. My feet, my body, and my mind finally feel as one. I didn't hurt at all today for the first time in all of these days. It was the first time that that has happened, and I was so grateful. And um, today was, it was like walking through fairy forest. I don't know, it was like birds chirping and trees full of chestnuts and covered in, 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 in vines and, um, the leaves were changing, you know, and I'm entering a different region and I'm feeling the change of the cool weather. There were, you know, cows in pastures and just all around me there was moss growing on things, you know, just a whole different feel from what I've had. Yesterday was hot and hard, but um, wow, just full of gratitude, just full of gratitude and realizing that oh my goodness, you know, in just a few days, this is going to be over. And so I'm even grasping this, this, this time even more. Um, I walked much of the time today solo and in my own thoughts and enjoying the feel of the, the weather and the smells. You know, I would walk into villages and I could smell fires going in fireplaces and walk by bakeries that you smell the bakery and then the fresh kind of wet leaves and, um, I don't know, there's something in the air that's just moist and cold and beautiful. It's just such a great change. Every day's been different. Today was full of gratitude. Every day has been, but especially today that um, I feel like it's all coming together finally. I no longer ask, why am I doing this? Why am I here? What's the purpose of all this? I just don't even care anymore. I just know that this has been an amazing journey. and. I have pushed myself farther and harder than I have ever imagined that I could do. And I'm grateful for the lessons that I've already learned. Um, if any of you out there uh, are curious about coming on this, I would really, really say go. <laughs> Even if it's for a day or two days or three days, come on the Camino and experience some of this because don't come with any expectations. Get some boots and a pack get a friend or no friend, come out here, experience this magic. It's, it's spectacular, it really is, uh, the people that you meet. So even though I did so much of today alone in my own thoughts, it's such a long day, it's hours and hours that you're walking. You do walk by people or with people for a while. And so I was able to walk with people from around the world, a guy from Sri Lanka, um, a woman from Switzerland, a couple from England, a guy from Ireland who would reach out in front of me, he would reach out and touch trees to feel their energy and to kind of give back, which I thought was a beautiful thing. Everybody adds something to your life every day. And I think wherever you are, that happens like that. But I'm rambling, but I, I will say that I am, I'm so grateful for uh, this opportunity that I have had and for where I am. And that I'm at the base of a mountain today in a little village that all of the stones in this village are covered with moss. It's absolutely beautiful. And tomorrow I'm gonna to climb up a hill that traditionally is very special for pilgrims because it's high enough that you can actually see Santiago if it's clear. And so there's a place up there that pilgrims have traditionally said a prayer of thanks that they've made it that far in their journey. So just to think of all of those millions of pilgrims who have gone before me that have done that, it's going to be pretty awesome. But I would love to walk you around and show you some of these things that I'm talking about. There's a beautiful path. Everything I think is an art installment, but there's a beautiful path right up there. And these white things here are huge mushrooms. And then if you look at the stairs, look at the stairs, everything has moss growing on it. It's cool and crisp and just smells, I don't know, it smells like rain, I guess, if you know what rain smells like. Um, there's, there's just stones and old wood. It smells like fresh, like I'm walking on um, soil that uh, horses have been walking on, so I smell horses. Uh, 
right over here you can see a horse No, I feel like I'm in Narnia or something, or a uh, secret garden, maybe. Yeah, the secret garden. Look at this. Look at that. And then over here, right across from it, nobody lives here. These are just, I'm just out exploring. There's a tree coming out of the house. And then look at this glorious animal. Look at that. I'm going to be climbing uh, a couple of those mountains tomorrow, and I'm, I'm really excited. So anyways, I took some pictures. I'm going to post those, and I hope you enjoy them. Bye-bye. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Oh